Hi everybody, welcome to Slow Gaming and our jolly cooperative adventure through the Dark Souls games, starting with Dark Souls Remastered. So Griffin has never actually played or beaten, I don't know if, it, if you've played it before, but you definitely haven't beaten it. Yeah, I have not, uh, I have not played or beaten Dark Souls 1, and this is my yes. first time playing it. So I'm going to go pretty easy, I'm just going to let him kind of just take the wheel most of the time. Uh, so I, I'm going to start off with saying, like, our main goals right now is there's two bells, okay? Okay. One's up high and one's down low, and we have to activate both of those in order to progress. proceed to, yeah, proceed to, like, the uh, second act of the game. So right now that is our main goal. So we, we chose the upper path just because uh, this was the easiest for me to get to so i'm just gonna kind of follow you so like oh okay you know, tell me your thought process where you're going what are you doing oh i'm just looking uh if there's some important stuff i'll definitely tell you but are there stairs the underneath this Texas? uh what do you mean oh underneath this yeah oh uh yeah it does look like stairs doesn't it yeah I cannot interact with it. I don't, it doesn't I matter. feel really stupid for somebody who's played this game so much if all of a sudden I was like, oh, these stairs have been here at the beginning of the game. <laughs> They've been here the whole time. I love, I love, I love the warning message after you've probably already been ambushed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, right here, right here. This is good. Oh, I mean, I was attacked as soon as I came down. Oh, okay. Was but, that guy dead on your screen? There's some weird lag in this. Ah. Uh, it's all right. It's beautiful. I mean, if you were attacking on someone, yes. Yes, he, would, okay. he was dead. Uh, yes, on my screen. Um, I might record that just so you can get that. You can see it from my point of view, perhaps. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's an alternate way here, so... Really, you could have went through that entire ambush and just came to that one guy at the end and then says, be wary of ambush. I always forget what's up here. Wait, I'm sorry. Say that uh, again? Okay. Like, uh, like you could have entered that from a different direction and already went through the ambush before you seen that, like, Message? Uh, oh. Yeah. I think there's an item up here. I don't know what this is, but... It's been a while since I've been... Especially... Like looking for all the loot. There's something glowing over there. At the end of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't remember what that is. Let's see. It is a humanity. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We're gonna need those. Um, so this will drop us back down. Uh, to the staircase, like after this little sewer bit. Which the only reason we're so far out from uh, Firelink is because you can't summon in Firelink. So, um, oh. I don't remember if there's anything else down that way. Yeah, because, uh, like, right here, mm -hmm. uh, this actually drops you down there, too, I think. Oh, there's a door here. I forgot about this. Oh. Sorry, I said I was going to let you explore, and then... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to let you oh, take the wheel. Immediately starts taking the wheel. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, what? You know, whatever. I'm gonna let you take the wheel. Yeah. Follow see, me. there were stairs. I was right. Mm -hmm. Did you get whatever this is? No, no, I did not. Oh, okay. It was just a lost soul. It's funny too, because Griffin hasn't played much in the Dark Souls. So there's a lot of like, you know, meme culture with the, uh, you know, tri rear. <laughs> and stuff so you seen one of those that was funny yeah i was so utterly I confused there. i did not get the joke <laughs> yeah up there looked like a perfect area somebody would say that that's what made me think of that uh yeah so we're just gonna do some i mean that's not real plain i guess just play dark souls right yeah all right so yeah we can get out we can get out of this beginning bit here uh, I have a fog wall up here, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I had a fog wall you. tool, uh, too. I wasn't sure what that was. Um, you can enter it. I, this, there's no, like, boss after this, so... 
Can you enter? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I had to be worried there for a second. I was like, why would they only let us summon in a small area? <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I was confused, because I so, like when I summoned you, these fog walls appeared, so I was like, oh, is this like the boundary he's allowed to be in? And so I was looking for more places to go. Okay. <laughs> I, guess, I guess the dragon was, uh... Yeah. yeah, it's a really good opening. Oh, dude, nice berry. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I parried him on my screen. Oh yeah, on my screen. Oh no, no, no! One hundred percent. Like the pair, like he got parried. But what I mean is, like, I had like shield bass when I meant to guard, and like oh, he wasn't okay. there yet. Oh. And then I went to attack because then he was just there, and I was like, oh, okay. But then I did that animation. I was like, oh. Uh, so there is something over here I was gonna have us. Uh, yep. I, I will have you go to because this is like a merchant that's over here. It's like the earliest game merchant, I think. Okay. Uh, these are the guys I was talking about. Like if I had, if I used my kick more, what is it in this game? Yeah, that. So much easier because these guys will block for ages. Yeah. Uh. No. Yeah. So it's a uh, forward and then uh, R one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty pretty quick succession. I've never been good at using kicks. Okay. Parries. Kind of hoping to work on my parry game a little bit. There we go, kicking. Oh. Get dunked on. Where did you go to? Oh, uh, I, see, I, see, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, yeah, there's some barrels. And... Uh, here's a merchant here. Weird on my screen because he's like see-through. Um, so, I don't think if there's anything you, like, need to buy from him. Um, uh, I don't know. Purchase so items. Repair, throwing knives, bombs, talisman. Soapstone. Yeah, like, I mean, talisman, or, like, talisman. Bombs and stuff, those are just, like, you know, replenishable. So. Yeah. Uh, so he has, I think he has the bottomless box in case, uh, cause there's no weight limit if it's not equipped to your character. So if you're somebody who wants to have just a clean inventory though, you can get the bottomless box and that'll make it so when you're at a bonfire, you can, uh, drop all your stuff in there. Oh. Uh, the repair thing, not as important. Like this weapon I have, mm -hmm. uh, if I use its special ability, it does like break my repair. And there's like some acid attack uh creature it's all pretty rare though okay um so you can use that repair box though to make it so when you sit at a bonfire you can uh, repair it that'd be crazy oh yeah so i was gonna talk i was gonna talk about this earlier but i figured i'd wait till we actually get playing playing so there's some really interesting stuff like uh Later on, there's gonna be a character. We'll probably fight him, since, especially since there's two of us. Like, there's black knights, right? Okay. So I'm pretty sure when you kill like the black knights, uh, until you get into like pretty much the very end game, that's the only time they spawn, and they have a chance to drop some of their equipment. Oh. So it's it's like I pretty much I killed like three of them right now, which there's not a lot out there. And I've gotten one drop, and it really sucks. But you can get really lucky. Like, their weapons are really good. Uh, there's a bonfire over here. Uh, are you able to access this, or do I need to leave for a second? Uh, I cannot go that way. Okay, so let me um, drop out real quick. Okay. And then you can go. Hit, hit the bonfire. bonfire. Yep, and I will catch up to you in a second. Ah, uh, he returned home. My people need me. <laughs> then you just go, well, psych. So, we should be able to make it to the first boss really quickly. Well, the first, like, not Asylum Demon boss. 
So, do you have any idea what kind of build you're wanting to do? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna do probably the same build I always do, just <laughs> to make sure. Because I'm essentially just um, a helping hand. Oh, come on. This is the best chance. You could do something fun. You say you could never work with magic. You could do a magic build. Yeah, magic, pyromancy, a dex. I don't think I've ever done a dex build in Dark Souls Remastered. See, there you go. Have fun uh, with uh, it. A holy one. Now, a holy one, maybe I will invest into that just to get some heals so I can give you heals. That would be pretty cool. Um... This guy is oh. ruthless. He's just constantly chucking these uh, fire bombs at me. Did you get the uh, the bonfire? Yeah. Okay, I put my summon sign like uh, pretty much right where I left. Oh, I see it. Yes, summon. Uh, also, if you're not familiar with Dark Souls One or the original Dark Souls, uh, I can't teleport. Um, until we get to like, until like we defeat the bosses in part of the second act, I think. So, uh, I'm gonna have to like chase after you. <laughs> oh, so, oh. So like, as I was coming through here, I had to kill enemies to get to the bonfire. So, so wait, wait, wait. I, I do have some shortcuts. On that, so. so my que my question is right. So, mm -hmm. like, do you spawn like where you went to, like where you started, like where I summoned you, yeah, or do you all the way in the back? Yeah, yeah, so if we beat this entire thing, you sp you will spawn basically right back here? Yeah. Oh. Although I have, a, I have a shortcut in that room that leads me up uh, pretty much uh, right like after the boss fight. So. Oh, okay. But, uh, like, I only did a little bit because I had to get the white soapstone, so I had to, like, progress a little bit. Um... Uh, but eventually we're going to run out of the point where I don't have shortcuts to get you. I got ya. How did I accidentally kick? Oh yeah, and you grabbed the master key, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was one of my, uh, key recommendations. Well, I was looking through them, and, like, the only other thing that looked kind of okay was the slightly increased health. Yeah, that's usually like a bait, I think. Cause like, uh, they had that in Elden Ring. Uh, they had that probably in most of the Dark Souls games. But it's so insignificant compared to just like putting like a few levels. Um, I mean, it's not. It's not like it's not. But yeah, everything else uh, is pretty much like it's a consumable. So like, oh, I can get like a little bit more souls or. Uh, a couple of fire bombs. Although the black fire bombs are pretty good. I'm gonna get these guys throwing fire bombs. Don't oh, somehow it seems I always manage to like lock onto the exact one that you are trying to kill. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I saw there's, you, there's you went, weird, like, you were fighting this one, so I'm like, okay, I'll go for those two. Then you start to go for those two, I'm like, okay, I'll go for the further one back. And then I see you, and you're just like, oh, I'll go for the furthest yeah. one back. And I'm like, oh, okay, no yeah, problem. It's cause it's just because I'm more comfortable with the game, so, like, I'm running through and doing stuff. You'll get a feel, though, at some point. Um, yeah, I'll let you go that way. I'm going to get up sure that might try to shoot us in the back. But we actually have a, that Black Knight I was talking about coming up here soon. Oh. So, where are you at? Alright, you got that fine resin. So, I'm going to try and get these guys up here. Because we kind of don't want to have um, these guys up when we go try to fight the Black Knight. It's actually pretty tough. Especially for early game. Okay, so don't go up those stairs uh, just yet. Oh. oh, see, like he stood up on my screen and then died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he he came back for a second chance. Yeah. Okay, so down here, mm -hmm. you come down like right here. You see that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Black Knight. So I, what we want to do is probably one of us, so we don't get stuck like we are now. And then we'll like lead him up into this bigger area. Y yes, this bigger area. 
Yep. I mean, we could we could go up here if you want some more areas because it is kind of tight. Uh, but yeah, if this guy hits you, like if you don't have your shield up and he hits you, dead. Uh, I don't know what your health is, but there's a good chance you'll be like dead or uh, two shot dead. It's a try parrying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, if you can parry him. Uh, but like I said, if you fail parrying him, though. <laughs> oh, now he's running. We can go up to the bigger area up here if you want to. Yeah, why not? It gives you more room to work around. So, really classic thing in Dark Souls 1 is uh, backstabs are pretty strong in this game. You the said backstabs? Yeah. Like that. So like if you're playing by yourself, that's probably what you would do is you'd like lock on, shield up, and wait for an opening to circle around him. Oh like I'm kinda of cheating by killing him. I could like I could let you just fight him if you want. I mean if you die though, it's alright. It'll be fine. You need some experience. Yeah, get him. There's a clap emote. Ooh. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Wait, is there not a clap like emote? No. no. No, I don't know. If so, I don't have it. Yeah, so a big thing for uh, Dark Souls games is when I get used to seeing patterns in certain enemies attacks okay, actually I'm gonna save you here yeah that was good I was almost dead nice. <laughs> but yeah you want to get used to seeing patterns um, you know that guy only has I don't know how many attacks he has but uh, there's certain ones like he does one where he like jabs forward and if you don't get hit by it, you can kind of like walk around them. So, yeah. Uh, do you have any more heals? I might want to heal up. Okay, lead the way. Uh. Might as well go up. Alright. <laughs> Excellent decision. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, the worst thing is when you see it coming and it happens yeah um so okay I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to say too much here but if we go down there's a guy that's pretty strong he drops a really good ring if we kill him it's one that makes it so um it increases your carrying weight by quite a bit okay um, if we go up, that is our way to the boss. So, it is up to you. But I will say this guy is... He's a hes a reoccurring character. His name's Havel. Mm -hmm. He carries a dragon's tooth as a weapon, and he has stone armor. Uh, if he hits you, he will pancake you, probably. We'll leave him alone for now. But it is, a, it is probably one of my favorite rings in the whole game, I will say, though. So. Uh, one of these has a crystal lizard in it. Okay, it's not this one. Oh, you mean just Here, like one of these sure. areas? Uh, yeah, it was it was with these barrels. Cause see, there's like a similar one here. I think this has a crystal lizard in it. Okay, yeah. Which I do want to get for us because it's like a rare uh, crafting material. So, pretty good. I definitely don't remember where they're all at. So. All right, now we can fight. This is going to be the Taurus demon here, so. I forgot because my, there's like a weird system in this game where if you go to a bonfire, mm -hmm. um, you can kindle it, which I think you use humanities, I can't remember, but it makes it so you actually get more Estus flasks. Um, so I didn't do that at that last one we were at that I sat down at, so I only had two and I've already drank one, so I only have one Estus flask. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I might die here, who knows. That's part of the fun. Uh, this boss does have a cheese to it. Okay, I was gonna put it in 
these guys if we were gonna go that way. Only because I would get annoyed with them shooting me in the back. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Know, I didn't even notice it. I. I could. I mean, like you can hear they're like shooting. I mean, obviously, I already know this area, but you can hear like click, 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 click. It was them preparing. Oh no! D don't you remember? But the audio for the game is really low for me right now. Oh, true, true, very true. And the only option I have is turning up my volume, which would then increase your volume, which. <laughs> yeah, audio is fun. Ah, uh, isn't it though? That's our boss. Oh, the, what is my camera like locking to you? Is it? <laughs> yeah, like twice now my is character. Is it because you had your body turned and you pressed? Maybe. Is that, is that, is that? Uh, no, it just flipped me forward and I did Watching you play. Ooh. Ooh. Try and roll back. Oh. No. Oh, I didn't get you? Yeah. Okay, okay. There is a cheese for him, so I, I just wanted to let you, like, experiment with him there, but... Damn, that... The area we just climbed up, right? Uh-huh. If, if you get him and you run back, you can climb up there and get a punch attack. Oh. And technically, you can, like, infinitely do it if you do it right. I did put down my white, uh, soapstone. That's okay. Uh, but I, yeah, yeah. There's also, oops, I just got really Forget if I walk back into that fire, or bonfire, it gets rid of it. Okay, it is back down. In the, oh, I, in the same location? Or? Uh, yeah, like uh, on the wood planks right outside of where the bonfire is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he also has like a weird thing where, um, I don't know how you do it. But you can also make the forest demon jump off the cliff. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's like some open areas. I don't know if he does like maybe a move where he like jumps back and he just falls off. Oh, I have to do another one of the... I have to do one of those humanity things again, don't oh, I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm like, I just don't see your thing. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I was going to die there. Trying to make it, like, further up, so... When, uh, when I die, I'll be hopefully closer to the tortoise demon. Yeah, which, I mean... Like, there we go. Point, uh, if, you, if you start getting low, just tell me. I think I have, like, six on me. So I can drop them for you. Okay, uh, I currently have three, so... Okay. Yeah, you're fine. It's just, like, we just gotta make sure that if you get down to your last one, then... I give it to you when I enter your game. Cause I, cause like my plan here is like, we're mainly just gonna look through your perspective. So I wanna make sure you're always ready. Yeah, I got ya. I hate these firebomb guys. They are, they are awful. Yeah, I gotta think about kindling too. I gotta figure out how I want to handle that. I don't suggest um, kindling every bonfire, especially if they use humanities. But there are gonna be certain like common ones that we will probably like go through a lot. So we'll. Uh... Oh yeah, I keep going in here thinking it's the room that has the door at the other side, like we get the lightning resonant. Hmm. I'm pretty much just taking it straight to the boss. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I figured, I figured. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to use one of my two S's left. I don't think that bonfire back there was worth me doing that for. So is the barrel back? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, okay. that would be real shitty if the barrel was back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it does for that boulder, like, in the asylum. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it might respawn. I can't remember, though. All right, round two. I already got a decent amount of souls, too. I already have like uh, 8,000 souls. I'm crazy. I have just about six. Oh, yeah, these stupid you things. You get your other ones too. You haven't got them. Say that again. You have to get your other. Uh, souls oh, I just back anyways, so. oh, I... Okay. Actually, why am I going? Why am I going up? You're already up there. I mean, it's fine. Okay, round two. Yeah. Hopefully, it ends here. We could we could even take turns. Plunge attack him. So like if you run back, <laughs> close, I plunge attack him. <laughs> Wait for him to like recover and then Get him a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I plunged attacked. No, I don't think you did either. I ran off and I did. I tapped uh, RB. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't close enough. I mean, I don't think he's too hard to fight. Uh, how much damage did I do? 62? So yeah, it, it definitely reduces my, um, my weapons, probably based on your level. Because this does 200 normally, so. Man. There we go. His like legs were blocking me. I need to be a better judge of distance. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things you learn. Can I? Can I? I'm okay. Oh, I missed. Just my punch back. I got the roll. Away from you. Thanks. There we go. I'm good. If you want to try to get him back, I want to try to lunge attack him. Yeah. Uh... I wonder if that's the move where he jumps off. There's like one where he like leaps in the air. So do you just win if he jumps off, or does he come back? No, he'll just die. <laughs> yeah. So if you wait for him to kind of like get his head's closer to the staircase, that's probably the safest time, and then it's from the Nice, good job. And I'll finish this. Easy peasy. This is by far the easiest boss we fight today. Well, that's good, and isn't I'm it? Gone. Oh no, he disappeared! <laughs> we should have got a hefty amount of souls, though, I think. Uh, looks like 3,000. Yeah, that's probably at least a few levels for your level. So yeah, I wonder if um. But what does it cost? It cost a friend that went back to his homeland. Yeah, it's all right. That's what it is. Jolly cooperation. Which actually, that reminds me, because you're getting ready to meet Solo, and then you'll be able to experience uh, Jolly cooperation, or the manifestation of. If I don't die right here, it's a whole bunch of weak skeletons. Let's see. But yeah, you just continue on your path there until, um... Because uh, I, I don't remember where you're at right now. Now I gotta catch up, so... Well, I got a path that goes... Down? Uh, so, yeah, did you come across, like... I think there's, like, a wooden door, right? And then... Charmer like, ahead. Yeah, that's so praise. Rare. Okay, praise let's see. The sun. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. Which I'm actually I wearing his armor right now. Don't ask me how I got it though. <laughs> now that I am undead, you I stole it, didn't you? Land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn. That would be the nicer way to say it. <laughs> I had to though. It's for the cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna be cooperating. <laughs> 
I get that. So I murdered him and stole all his stuff. I highly suggest not murdering him, by the way. I'm pretty... What? One is probably a pretty pretty strong fight, really. Early on. I just, like, chain backstab him, so... <laughs> Okay, can I drop my- Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode of Dark Souls. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.